Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the Connect4 game that we are developing. Uh, in this video we are going to uh, code the pieces that are in the game, the little uh, circles and the movement of those circles. So let's, this, let's do this. I created a, a simple class, it's called Piece, and it has some attributes like the X position in the canvas, the Y position, the diameter, and, and the color. So here we have the constructor and we have the show function which we are going to use to draw in the screen that uh, piece. We are going to use this uh, we are going to use this uh, function, the circle function. This draws a circle in the screen. You can see how we use it in different videos. So this is our simple class you need to add here in the index.html the reference to the file and here in the sketch.js I created a piece I put it in the 300 pixels in the X and 300 pixels in the Y and 25 of diameter and, the, and this color actually I think I'm not setting this yet but doesn't matter also I create the canvas in the last video and now we have the draw function first of all of all we draw a black background and then we show the piece so right now we can see something like this this is our piece so we are going to code the movement of the piece first of all I would like to do some some refactoring of the code so I just did some refactoring here for example I created constants in order to work more clean but it's the same and here in the show function Actually, now I'm I am using the color that I'm setting here by parameter, so I'm filling the screen first and then draw the circle. So when it comes here, then it goes to the background. So it's it is only going to fill the the circle that we are drawing. So that looks like this. So now let's go the function that gives the movement to the piece. So I created a function called movement of piece. This receives a piece by parameter and what it does is to set the X position and Y position with the mouse positions. So this we are going to call it each time we draw in the screen. So this works in this way. So now our pieces are following uh, the mouse. So for now let's uh, put the pieces there and let's go the matrix because it's the structure that is going to hold the pieces that we are going to use in the game so let's go here and I'm going to create the matrix class so I just created in the public folder the platform.js is similar similar of what we did with the Tetris game but now we have the same we have the number of rows and columns for this game I saw that usually are seven rows and seven columns so we are going to use it that way the x and y position the dimension and the color so this is the constructor these are these are the parameters and this is the definition so we set the attributes but we need to generate a new platform so we're going to send by parameter the rows and columns and we are going to ask to be generated so we are going to use the array from and it's going to generate a, a matrix or the bidimensional array but with all the fields in null so how we are going to draw this this is our show function so for each piece in our platform what we need to do is ask if the piece is equal to null if it is equal to null we are going to draw an empty space if not we are going to draw a piece so let's see how we draw an empty space we receive by parameter the row and column so first of all we are going to do a fill of zero in order to keep continue drawing the background then we are going to use the function stroke which only colors the border of the figure and then we use circle so this is really interesting we are doing a row and column uh, multiplied by the dimension and also we are adding uh, uh, an extra dimension that is working like a margin or padding 
in web development in order to do not have it like really together all the empty spaces and also here we are using the dimension for each circle so if we go to the index.html we added here the platform.js and here we created a new platform which seven rows seven columns it starts in the x0 y0 diameter of 50 is the double of the piece for now and the white color so here uh, we added the platform that show and is working in this way so this is like our platform and now we have piece moving around in the next video we are going to do the start of the game so we are going to insert pieces inside the matrix I'm going to refactor a little bit the code in order to so the matrix will look more similar to the game so I need to separate a little bit those uh, those circles so I'm going to do that so I will go to the platform JS file and I will do it so the solution I found was multiply the dimension by 1.5 in order to make more space so it looks this way you can uh, try with different values for example let's see how it looks with 1.7 it should look better yeah so it looks better in this way and we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for each row and column so now our game is more similar to the original so something that I'm going to do is uh, refactor a little bit for example this uh, value it should be now something that we receive from the constructor so I'm going to put it like I don't know margin and I'm going to put it by default at 2 but I'm going to say here that my margin is equals to the margin I received by parameter so now in my constructor well first of all I need to change it here is that margin I need to change this for this value and I'm going to receive it by parameter so now it's this parameter and I'm going to use the same 1.7 and let's see okay I'm doing something wrong I think let's see what is it so if I go here 1.7 plus this that margin okay actually I, I'm not seeing what I did wrong so I will troubleshoot this a little bit okay so I saw the error and it is because the positional parameter for that space is the color not the margin so now if I go here actually I don't like why, what my ID is doing with this I will fix it later so as you can see now it looks better and uh, actually maybe then we can change the color because I have seen that the original game the board is like blue and then here at the right we are going to add like a uh, a container for pieces so in the next video we are going to continue with the game so for now thanks for watching and please stay tuned to the next videos and please subscribe to solid code thanks bye